Good morning. I am today going to be making a sugar-free Nutella spread in my Pampered Chef Deluxe Blender. So, just a real quick... Hi, everybody. Okay, here we go. So, here are my ingredients, and here's what I'm going to do. I have measured out three cups of the hazelnuts right here, and I also have some coconut oil that I melted some because even though these are roasted, um, I, I probably should still have a little bit of oil because they're not like peanuts. They don't have as much oil in them as a peanut would. So the first thing I'm going to do is take the water blender. I'm going to just put, and I'm, I'm not measuring, I'm gonna guess, let's see, one teaspoon, two teaspoons. Let's just say it's approximately two teaspoons of melted coconut oil. The next thing I'm going to do is take my three cups of roasted hazelnuts. Uh oh, I think one of the little boogers got away. Reach back here, sorry. I think there's one right back there, got him. Okay, so now I have my hazelnuts in there. So I'm going to put my lid on, and if you notice, I do not have this little cap on because I know I'm going to be needing to use the damper to move the nuts as they start climbing up the side. So I'm ready to go with that. So I'm going to turn it on and let me get this out of the way. And I'm going to select the grind feature like you would use with any of your nut butters. So let's just get it to grind. There's grind. And I'm going to hit start, which means um, I probably be quiet. We're not be talking because I can't talk over this, but you'll see me hitting the grind. And then as the nuts start climbing up the side, I may pause. I may pause the cooking and tamper it, or the grinding, I mean, and do the tamper on it and then restart it. So let's just kind of see how it goes. So here we go. Morning. Here we go. So you know what? I'm going to go ahead and add in a little bit more of my coconut oil because some just flew out the top. It's so dry. Adding a little bit more. And you know what that means? Because of that, I lied to you. I'm going to put this little top on because I don't want them flying everywhere. Okay. leave that here now.
Look at that beautiful creamy goodness happening in there. Let's just put a spoon in here and see what we've got. Nice and creamy. Look how beautiful that is. So now I'm going to add some sugar-free sweetener. And I've read you can use stevia or whatever you've got. I'm going to actually do a combo. I've got this vanilla sugar-free syrup. So since I'm doing sugar-free, I want to do that. And you know what? I'm going to measure just to help you guys out. I'm usually not one that measures a lot, but let me find my teaspoon. It's a half teaspoon. I'm going to do a full teaspoon of this vanilla, I think, if I can do it one-handed. see if I can do this one-handed. All right, so let's do a teaspoon of the vanilla, sugar-free vanilla. Okay, so there's a teaspoon of that. So we'll put that in. And then with the stevia, I'm just going to count out some drops. I think I'm going to do eight drops. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. That's a little bit more than eight, but that's okay. And now I want to add some cocoa. So this I read you just want to add a little at a time because you want to get it to the chocolate consistency that you like. So I'm going to do... That's a little, it's a heaping half teaspoonful, so I'm going to add that. Now I'm going to put my lid back on, and I'm not going to put it on grind anymore because it's completely ground. I will get my lid on here securely now, I think. There's a little holes. There we go. Lock that in. Okay, lock my lid on. And now I'm going to put it on the pulse feature and just let it pulse. <laughs> seconds I think. Now I'm going to stir it. You can see you got all this stuff climbing up the side so I'm going to just kind of scrape that. Stir it a little bit. Look how beautiful that is. I probably want it a little bit more chocolatey because it looks like a light chocolate. I'm going to just do a little taste test. Let's see. Okay. It definitely needs more sweetener. So I'm going to put a little bit more of, I think I'll just do the stevia at this point. I think I got enough vanilla. So let's go two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, let's add that much more stevia. And I am going to add more cocoa, another heaping half steam poo, teaspoon. All right, let's turn it back on pulse. Okay, so just get it back going on pulse. Okay, close to another 30 seconds. Let's See what it's looking like so it's a little bit darker now do another little taste test use a different finger this time obviously okay I think the chocolate balance is pretty good but it definitely needs more sweetener and I don't have a real big sweet tooth so for me to say that it's definitely crying more sweetener than I thought it would okay so because of that I'm going to add just another little pour of the vanilla and a few more drops of liquid stevia. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, that was about seven or eight drops. Okay, let's pulse some more. Another 30 more 
seconds. This will be the final taste test. Oh, the consistency actually has thickened up, which is really nice. Okay. All right. Now I'll use a different finger. Let's see. Oops, don't fall. Pretty good. I'm going to put a little bit more of the vanilla flavoring. I think it needs, still needs a tiny bit more. Okay, I'm not going to add any more stevia this time. Let's just do that because it's really close. And again, this is just my taste buds. You make it however you like it. Some people might like really sweet and some people might not like it sweet at all. So here we go. I'm going to know the 30 seconds. finished product but let's see let's see. Oh, oh my gosh the consistency is perfect all right I'm down to only a thumb and a pinky let's see use the pinky yep that's good it's not too sweet you would think it would be but it's not it's still I can really taste the hazelnuts and the chocolate which those are what I want my predominant flavors to be so I have no idea how that measured out. Let's just take a guess. I'm going to guess there was a total of maybe three teaspoons of my sugar-free vanilla syrup. I'm going to say, what did I do? I did six, and then another eight, and another six. Uh, let's just say, let's just make it an easy number to remember. Let's say 25 drops of stevia, which was a decent amount, actually. Uh, I'm gonna guess oil I used, I did add a little bit more. I'm gonna say I probably used about one full tablespoon of my melted coconut oil. Of course it was three cups of the hazelnuts. And all in all, I did two heaping half tablespoons of this. So let's just say one heaping tablespoon would be good on the cocoa powder. Now I have these two little jars here ready to put the hazelnut butter in. They both have airtight lids um, so I can store it nicely because since there's no preservatives we don't want this to sit forever. Um, the shelf life, um, there's no milk products in there so the shelf life shouldn't be too bad. We'll eat it up I'm going to guess within a week or so. Maybe even two weeks but we should be good with that. So there you go. There is homemade sugar-free Nutella. So I hope you give this a try and enjoyed this little video and I'll catch you on my next experiment. Have a great day, friends.